I thought I gave the input in the report. Oh wait, which inter wait, 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 wait. With CJ and Bobao. With CJ, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't think I did. I can get it, though. I got him. When was, do you remember when that was? I got him. It's on the 3rd of June. This one is right. Yeah, I found him too, but you already got him then. Yeah, just take it. Is he him? I think so. Maybe. I think so. So you got those, you don't need me to... <clears throat> yeah, I got them. Through. I just wish we would have went over them first, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Well, he told us uh, that he cut his neck on the guardrail in a car accident. Going All right, right, we're going to ask him one more time. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just relaying what I remember. <laughs> Bryce, Mr. Lynch. Hey, Hi there, going? Mr. T, and we appreciate you coming down. Uh, as always, if you have Absolutely. any weapons on your person, uh, make sure you leave them locked and secured in your vehicle. You can check them in at the front desk, okay? Oh, yeah, that is true. I'll be right back. Let's go. Is your neck healing up pretty good? And Ooh. they good, are yeah. in a local stolen car. In the cool sky now. They crash out. We Come on, run through here, sir. We're just going to go downstairs. It'll be a little bit quieter. Okay. Uh, one at a time. So one item would be what necessary. Weapons. Good. Next. Uh, no, it should be good. Careful on those steps, they can be a little bit slippery from time to time. Yep. 
All right, we do appreciate your cooperation coming in today. Um, as always, as a formality, sir, you do have the right to remain silent. You also have the right, uh, or anything uh, you say or do can be against you in a court of law. You also have the right to an attorney. Have that attorney present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford one, sir, one will be appointed to you free of charge by the state if it is available. Do you understand those rights? Yeah. Am I getting arrested for something? Uh, no, we're just asking some follow-up questions. Um, and as always, at any point uh, in time during questioning, you can stop questioning. You can request a lawyer at that point in time, okay? Sounds good. Uh, also, to notify you, this uh, interview uh, will be recorded, okay? Wonderful. All right, Mr. Mr. Vobal, um, it has been a while since we last spoke, um, and I just wanted to follow up uh, on your injuries. Uh, how is it that you got injured again? I... Uh went for a nice lunch just by taco fama and i decided to just ride around i uh, decided to take a very scenic route heading northbound towards uh palito uh towards great ocean there's a bend that i took a uh, nasty uh wipeout uh I approached the guardrail, very, very sharp end. It slit my throat, and I was left incapacitated just by the side of the road, and I passed out. That's all I can remember. That's all you can remember? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. It's probably easy to remember things that you you make up. Um, let me ask you this question, Mr. Vobal Tien. Uh, why would somebody say something else had happened to you, sir? Somebody else Ooh. that I questioned explained your injury, but it was completely different. Okay. And who was this person? Oh, I'm sure you know exactly who it was, sir. I clearly do not. Oh, well, let me, let me, uh, CJ. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no, not not really at all. It. Oh no, I don't think so. Probably the same reason hmm. you would lie about it, sir. Why would I lie about an accident that almost literally actually killed me? Oh, well, sir, we don't have any uh, evidence of any emergency calls being placed in to uh, EMS services or police uh, regarding a traffic accident. Nothing like that. Must As a matter of fact, on the evening. Of your injury, the same night that you were put into the hospital in a very critical condition, uh, there was actually a shootout uh, followed by a kidnapping and uh, torture of an individual from the shootout location. Same night. It's weird, huh? Wasn't involved in that. I had to take time off myself because my head was uh, oh, not okay. in the right place. Sure, sure. Oh, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Um, hmm. What do you think he would lie, John? Hmm. I mean, I guess if I was part of a criminal organization <clears throat> and I didn't want someone to come after me for uh, getting back at the person who did something to me, maybe I would say that I was in an accident as well. Mm. Motorcyclists are very sensitive. They get very upset when someone says MCs ain't shit, something like that. I mean, whether I agree or disagree is irrelevant, but I can see how sensitive Fockers would be. Furthermore, uh, Mr. Tien, I have evidence of your organization. Hey, go ahead and turn around for us. Let's see that fat old gray wolves patch on your back. The same one that was hanging bloodied on the side of your bed. So turn around so we can see that. Very proud. Look at that. Look at that. Gray wolf. Yeah. Gray wolf. You know who else is a gray wolf? Uh, Dante Redgrave. Ooh. I'll give you uh, a star and a 10 out of 10 for that. Good job. Mm, thank you. Miss C.J. Erickson, I don't know if she's actually a gray wolf. Maybe she just a hang around. Maybe she's trying to be one. Who knows? But I know she loves hanging out with you all. I do know that. We're a lovely crowd. Everyone loves us. Mm, I don't know if that's true. Probably not the person that you kidnapped and tortured. 
You are just putting words in my mouth and oh, in my Oh, I'm not system. putting anything in your mouth, sir. But those are very serious charges. Do you understand that, sir? And here mm. I have you lying in an active investigation about how you became injured. I know how you became injured, sir. Your DNA was all over the scene, dummy. You got stabbed. Stabbed by somebody trying to torture somebody else. I know you're not the torturer. I know this. You were there. Doesn't mean you're guilty of torture. You want to come clean and tell us what exactly happened up there? And why? This is a part that I don't understand. Are you guys really that sensitive that somebody months ago was like, MCs ain't shit. Is, is that really a thing? Is that why you're, you guys are so upset? I have zero clue what the hell you're even on about. Well, to be fair, Kelly, I mean, you know, they're like family, right? They're an MC. You can't go after someone's family. I'm sure he had a good reason to kidnap that guy and show him a lesson. Oh, maybe, maybe he was threatening them. Maybe yeah, they did I... it to protect. Did you do it in self-defense to protect you all? Give me a bone. I... Throw me something. Give me some other explanation other than an overly sensitive MC club kidnaps a member of another gang to torture them as payback because they hurt our feelings. Give me something more reasonable than that, sir. Miss Price, all due respect. I am an individual with onset psychosis. You're an individual with onset severe, psychosis. Severe depression. And during that day, I almost died. And yes, I because C.J. Erickson stabbed you. I will try to keep my cool and repeat myself one more time. Sir... Sir, I can save you the trouble. I already checked my receipt, and I ain't buying your bullshit. So be it, then. Next time you and Miss Erickson want to lie about something, get your story straight together first. Get them straight. You have any further questions for Mr. TN here? I mean... I mean, I know, I know you're going, going for him real hard here. I, you know, especially if he is someone with, uh, would you say, onset psychosis, sir? Mm -hmm. And he's got issues, you know, with with depression and things and and stuff. Uh, you know, maybe we go, you know, ease up on him a little. Um, I, like I said, I feel like, you know, we we obviously don't know the whole story. We wouldn't be uh, asking you about it if we did. Um, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, pause real quick. I'm loving the good cup. Bad cop bullshit. It's beautiful. It's like the movies, huh? The what? Mad cow bullshit. Bad cop, good cop bullshit. Oh. oh. Sorry, English not first language, you know? Yeah, I'm not a very good cop. Uh, anyone will tell you that. But... Mm, seemed like it. Either way. I, no, I'm just... I just... People don't do anything, do things for no reason. I get that. And I do have a hard time believing that what, you know, like like uh, Kelly's saying here that you guys just did it because someone said MCs ain't shit or whatever. I mean, it, it sounds like they didn't even call you guys out specifically. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. So what? You know, what was it? Did he did he do something to you guys first? Did he, you know, kidnap one of one of yours and you had to get back at him? I know that you you know you guys don't like calling the police, getting us involved. Yeah, I get it. You want to solve your own issues. Just trying to figure out, you know, why. You know, maybe maybe we go after the guys that you went after. Hmm. Do you know that if you put uh, soy sauce on fried rice that's been sticking on a frying pan, it's gonna deglaze it and make such a good, good, good fried rice. Mr. TN, I'm not buying your bullshit. I don't know what John's doing here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I need you to explain to me how your DNA ended up on a crime scene where a man was tortured. You crashed your bike. You were never there. 
How does your DNA end up on that scene, sir? Pretty sure my DNA was never there, and I was never there myself. Till then, no further, uh, no further, further question I would answer at this point. You're just trying to incriminate me. Well, I, I think that's probably in your best interest, sir. This isn't a court of law. You don't have to plead the fifth. You can just choose not to answer. Which I Go feel ahead. like is probably in your best interest, sir. Mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful time. I feel like I have more than enough information. We'll see you out and you have a great day, sir. You have an above average day. I will be Absolutely. knocking shortly, though. <clears throat> you like a souvenir from the night? I am heading home after all. Oh, yeah, sure. I love souvenirs. Hell yeah. Wait, I don't get a souvenir? Uh, yeah. When I come back. I have yet to go. Oh, okay, yeah. Where are you headed? I wouldn't go too far or stay too long, sir. Mm, it's not really in my hands. It's not in your hands? It's weird. Yeah. Well, it's listen, we'll time probably time. have a fat warrant waiting for you when you get back, okay? We'll see about that. <clears throat> Any questions about that? Awesome. Everyone has the bail protocol form, right? Yes. Everyone knows how to read that and how to follow it. To I look forward to my souvenir, sir. Uh, yeah, let me... Absolutely. Anyone have any questions? All right, about let me bail? tell Kelly. We're just questioning no, guy. I don't think anyone here's put out a bail form. Can I bring yet? Kelly? I might be wrong. Okay. We just finished questioning him. Oh, but now it's okay. All right, we'll head over there. It's on fire. We gotta quickly go to the trooper station that's now on fire. Why is the trooper station on fire? I don't know. That's what Indigo said. Get a 